Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and within this video, I'm going to explain how to chroma key within Wirecast, also commonly referred to as how to green screen within Wirecast. So, uh, this video assumes you've already connected your webcam within Wirecast, and if you haven't done that, check out my other video, and I I show how to do that. Actually, I've got a video playlist full of Wirecast tutorial videos. But this may be a common situation. You may have uh, you may have connected your webcam, and you may have your lights in it. You know, maybe you can't move your webcam closer to the subject. Maybe you're working in a small space like I am. So we're going to go through those steps as well. Now it may be that in your setup you may have it close enough to the subject. In this case, we're just going to use this bright orange case as an example but you may be able to have it so close that that your light, your studio lighting doesn't come into play. But let's assume that you're in my situation so you know the first thing you're going to want to do is um, obviously you're going to want to crop out those lights and stuff because that's that's not going to be good and also you're going to want to crop out those light switches on the wall. The good news is is that this is easy to do and see what I just did you can see those little bitty dots in the corners so what I do I grab one of those dots in the corner it doesn't matter which one I grab the the left one and then you can kinda uh, left mouse click in the middle so you can drag this around once you get to where you drag it around kinda drag it down to one of the corners like this and then expand so grab that corner and see now Okay, and then and repeat if you didn't do it enough. So now you need to drag a little bit more. That's the beauty of this webcam that I use is that it's, uh, and I may get a little bit more, just a tad more, is that the webcam I use is 4K. So I've got the luxury of being able to, uh, being able to, to crop like this without necessarily degrading the image quality. Because obviously I'll probably only be streaming in 1080p. So now we've got all that we want. We've got the top of my chair and we've got the case. And see, I'll walk over here just to show you. So see, I would be, I'd be sitting here and looking at the camera as I did the live show. So how do we chroma key? So we've got our subject centered. We've gotten all the light switches and all those imperfections out of the green screen. I do have a curved roof that's visible, but it's going to go away. So our next step is simple. Select this little, let's say you're somewhere else. So let's say you're here. Go to this little person head icon and then check the box that says use chroma key. Okay. Now the objective here is to get everything as black as it can be. So you can see there's a little bit of fuzz on the side. There's fuzz on this side. Select this box that says pick key color with mouse. Now what you can do is click throughout your screen. See, if I click here, I'm getting a lot of noise in there. If I click over here, I'm getting less noise. So just kind of click until you get to where you think you're seeing the, le the least amount of noise. So right here in the center seems to be the sweet spot. I've got some visible noise here and some visible noise there still. And that's probably due to the lights. Probably what I need to do is move the lights back a little bit. But what we can do, this key threshold where it's set to 12, look at this. So you put it down, yeah, it's getting really weird. It was at 12. Now see, if I'm at, just watch this real carefully. So see, you got noise there. And I go down, now I'm at 11, but look at what happens when I get to 18. Now I don't see any visible noise. So again, every studio is different. The main thing is, and check out my green screen tutorials, what makes green screening the best is a combination of the lighting and then also the bright green backdrop and then uh, you know minimizing shadows. So watch what happens when I walk over here. So this should be a pretty convincing green screen.
And you notice it's just a solid black background. So what do you do to add something in the background, like a photo or a video? Here's how you do that. So first of all, you know, follow this sequence because that solid black color makes seeing if you've got imperfections in your green screen more easy to see. So now that this looks good, that seems to be a pretty solid black. If there are imperfections, I don't notice them. So now I'm going to click this plus sign, and then I'm going to do add media file. So what I've done, and, and often when I, when I travel, I, well, not often when I travel, every time I travel, I film, I'll put my camera on a tripod and film a video for about, you know, five, ten minute duration, and those become green screen backdrops. So what I'm going to do is just pick one of those random ones here. Uh, let's see. We will pick this one right here. So I'm going to pick this file. I'm going to do open. Okay, so now you see that. Now that's a video clip. But what I've got to do now is layer all this stuff. Because see, that's that's taken over my... Well, it hasn't taken over. It's a separate clip. Actually, step back for a second. And let's do this. So you were on person head icon for the for the chroma key. Now you're going to go to this icon over here. It looks like a stack. So when you go to that stack, click the plus sign, and then do add media file. So disregard the step I just performed. And it's easy to get confused in this program. It's a great program, easy to get confused. So click the plus sign and then select your clip. And see now, and, and we can just delete this. If you if you right click or, uh, or just highlight it and then do, let's see, edit, delete shot. Yeah. So now what we've got, we've got this, but you don't see the, the orange case. So what do you do? It's actually very simple. So what you can do is select this clip, see, uh, S, STJ, STJ backdrops on the top. What you want to do is select that and then do the down arrow. Aha! So now we see our case. So remember, your green screen needs to be on the top. So now when I go over here, you'll see me. And I've got the video in the background. So that is the most simplistic way to do a uh, to do a video backdrop. Again, that's an MOV file, which you could have audio with it, or you know, no audio is up to you. You could use a still image. And there's not going to be motion in that, by the way, until you're actually broadcasting. So if you're if you're broadcasting and you've clicked that button, that's when this video will start to play. So you can see that little leaf over there on the live view moving a little bit in the wind. But it's not going to be visible here, even though it's a video clip. So just a little pro tip for you there. Now, where it gets really cool with this right here and and again that's all you need to do if you want a chroma key with an image or a video in the background but if you want to get fancy with it you can add additional things so you could click and again you don't have to do this so you can stop where you were and and be done with it but if you want to get fancy with it and add another layer hit plus sign and then add media file and these are png files so Right here, I've got a little sign that says irxguy.com. It's a PNG with a transparent background. So I hit open. And see, now this is on top. So I can put this little thing, and I can, I can drag it and resize it however I want to. But I can put that there for branding. So it is on top of all these layers. So, actually, I need to move it down. But see, if I moved it down again, it would disappear because the, 
the video would cover it. But if I move it up, so remember, your green screen part, which in this case is Logitech Brio Video, always needs to be first. Think of these, these are layers. Think of these as layers. So your green screen is in the back because that's the first one. And then you've got uh, your first element that's visible is the sign. And then behind it is the video background. So see, watch, watch what happens when I walk over here. So see, the sign is behind me because it's part of the background. But if you really want to get fancy with it, you could move the sign up. So now the sign's up. see now the sign stays in front of me so see I'm in the middle the video I was in the middle and the video of the islands are in the background so just to illustrate that again if I drag the sign down now when I sit in front of it I'll be sitting in front of the sign So I hope this was easy to understand. This is the this is the best way that I can explain chroma keying, also referred to as green screening within Wirecast. So if you really want to jazz up your YouTube live broadcast, incorporate some chroma keying and then you know take it to the next level as your comfort level increases. Add PNG elements such as you know such as a sign or whatever or logo and you know and really make it cool and then pay attention to the layer where it appears if you want it to be behind you or if you want it to be it if you want it to be perceived as being in front of you so if you were using let's say a traditional lower third image you would probably always want that to be in front of you so you would need to take into account how your layers are laid out so that if you if you move in front of that that it's always going to stay in front of you so I hope this video was of value. If it was, uh, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel, uh, ring that bell icon when you do, and that'll notify you whenever I post another video. And if you're looking for the webcam, the microphone, any of my green screen stuff, expand this video's description, and then click the links there to find it all. And if you found this video to be of value and you want to support my channel, that would be incredible. You can find a link to my Patreon page within this video's description too. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day and be sure to check out my Wirecast tutorial video playlist. I've got a, wire, a lot of Wirecast tutorial videos now and a lot more coming soon. If there's a particular topic that you'd like me to try to tackle within an upcoming Wirecast tutorial video, just comment below and let me know what you'd like to know. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.